Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another furniture mod update. Today is an exciting day because I'm bringing you what I would consider my favorite update to the furniture mod so far. Kick it off. What a way to get you guys hyped about this video today because again this week we are checking out two new pieces of furniture. I've also made some improvements to some of the models to polish this mod up and make it extra fleeky. So if you guys enjoy this video today I would appreciate if you could go ahead drop a like down below and if you want to keep up to date with all my furniture mod updates subscribe and turn on the bell notifications as well but let's go ahead let's jump right into this now alrighty let's go ahead let's jump straight into this let's head over to Craig here right now to check out this brand new furniture you've already had a sneak peek during this intro but we're gonna take a closer look at it right now and show you everything that is amazing with this brand new update yo young Greg what up dude what up dude he's already waiting here for us to start this off today, unfortunately, we only have two, actually, we have three things to look at today. I forgot about it. We have three things to look at. Let me go ahead and fix this up real quickly. All right, now that we're fixed up, we can get straight into this. Okay, so we are looking at three kind of major changes in this update today, two which are new pieces of furniture, well, existing ones that we've seen before but a brand new model it's got new sounds it's amazing and then uh, number three here is just like a little bit of a change and uh, if you watched the previous video you might actually know what this is i was going to make some changes with some of the furniture in the mod but let's go ahead let's start this off right now with number one probably the most exciting part of this update to be honest because we have reintroduced the sofas into the mod. I am now calling them sofas because um, I feel like it's a better name and uh, that's what we actually call them here in Australia. So grabbing them out right now and they are looking already amazing. Um, and you can see uh, maybe that they've got a brand new model. So let's check them out right now. We're going to place, I guess we're going to just check out one of them. I'm going to check the red one out. You know, guys, uh, red is my favorite color. Here we go. Boom. The brand new sofa. How amazing does this new model look? I put a lot of time and consideration into this design. It took me quite a while to actually get something that I really liked. And finally, here it is. So let's take a look at it. So we have kind of, well, the sofa now is actually lifted off the ground. So you can see we've got this kind of wood frame at the bottom and it's actually, it's actually got some little legs. I, I, would, I would consider them legs on the bottom there. Um, they're not really stands, they're, they're like little teeny legs. And then we've just got the normal wool at the top here. There wasn't really anything I could do. Um, like, I couldn't really stray too far away from the wool look because that really gives off that, you know, sofa feeling. Um, I did actually improve the armrests as well. So you can see that the bottom of the armrest actually starts one pixel below the actual seat here. And of course, of course, you can sit in this too, so if you go ahead and right click and right click here, we can uh, take a quick rest here during the video. Uh, I might come back in 10 minutes and uh, I'll continue this off. I'm just kidding. All right, <laughs> let's get back into this. So we haven't even checked out all all the all the amazing features about this. So. Uh, Previously, you could extend the sofa. Well, you can still do that. So if we go ahead and we place one to the side here, we can create a two-person sofa. We can create a three-person, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however long you want. But we're, we're not going to stop there. Maybe you don't want to keep going in a straight line. Well, you can actually go um, sideways here and create a corner version of it. So maybe you have like a room where you want to put it along the wall. Well, you could do something like this. Um, so you can create a, a really amazing setup in your homes now with these uh, 
with these new sofas. How cool are they actually? I love these. I actually love these. Now something I want to do in this video and future videos as well is to put a poll up. So if you click on the thing in the top right corner now, uh, I'm going to ask you guys, does this model look better than the previous one? So click yes if it does or click no if it doesn't. So I'm really interested to know what your guys thoughts are but I mean I love this new model I think it looks amazing and let's go ahead let's actually check out all the brand new colors um you, you guys are going to be amazed what you can actually do with these sofas and uh, a quite uh, peculiar use of them uh, which I will show you because if you don't remember I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can actually use all these different types of furniture in your house and give you a you know a good example of how they can be used because some people are just like hey let's place it down like that but no it could be placed in you know in certain ways that make it look actually amazing so let's go ahead let's check out all these colors now so we have the white orange magenta light blue these are all the very vibrant colors uh, we have the yellow lime pink Grey, light grey. Let's grab out the other ones. Cyan, purple, blue, brown, green, red, and then finally the black one. How amazing do all of these look? Having the opportunity to redesign this was so satisfying because I always felt it just had it didn't really have the best model, so it's definitely looking a lot better in this new 1.14 update of the furniture mod. Now, I'm not going to go straight on to showing you guys how you can actually use this in your house just yet because I want to check out the next piece of furniture because this example that I've come up with actually incorporates both of them, so I don't, really, I don't want to spoil it ahead of time, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's go ahead, let's check out the next piece of furniture, um, let's clear that, and this here is the blinds, and these have had a massive makeover, and they look so much, so much better now, um, so let's grab all of these out. These are what the blinds should have been a very, very long time ago. Um, a lot of the furniture that I've actually remodeled in this update so far was designed probably like six years ago. So these, the original blinds, the models just look, were designed, you know, when I was just starting modding. Um, and it's crazy how much experience I've uh, um, gained over the years. So let's go ahead. Let's check these out now, and I think before we actually go ahead and place this down, we need to actually set up a window, because obviously, you're going to put these blinds in front of a window, so let's create like a, a little bit of a setup here. Um, Alright, so we'd have that, let's go ahead, let's get some glass out, we'll get some glass panes, I'm just going to grab some white ones here. Alright, so, let's get the oak ones out, and let's have a look, because these blinds have had many improvements. Not only uh, is the model improved, but you'll see here in a second something really awesome about these blinds. So here we go. The blinds, they look amazing. They're actually now three pixels wide instead of two. Um, and if we go ahead and we right click them, have a look at this. Not only are the blinds angled, but it actually shuts both of them. So you only have to click one now in order to shut the blinds on the entire window. Alright, <laughs> I'm not even done. I'm not even done, guys. Let's go ahead, let's extend this up a little bit higher so we can actually create a 2x2 two two window here. This is where it gets amazing. Let's grab out the blinds. This is something that you guys have wanted for a very, very long time. And this is kind of like vertical, like extendable blinds that can go up. So if we go ahead and we place this above, and let's just go ahead and right click this. As you can see, they're all closed. Let's go ahead and right click this. Boom, there we have it. Um, so the model actually connects up properly to the, the one above it and uh, it looks a whole lot better. So for anybody who has big windows like this in your house, you can now actually use the blinds and they, they look amazing. Um, you can hear the sound as well. And this is a quick, quick fun fact about this sound. I'm actually gonna turn up my sounds here. Ooh, they're actually already up full. Um, this sound that is actually playing, I made this sound. 
I made this sound, guys. So we have a 100% original sound in this mod. A lot of the other sounds, um, I mean, I, I find them and I find the correct license to actually use them in my furniture mod, but this one here, 100% um, created by myself, and uh, I mean, it works. I mean, it sounds it sounds pretty satisfying. If I if I must add there, if I if I must add onto that, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Um, but this looks amazing, and this is just the oak one. We can go ahead and let's check out the other stuff right now. So maybe the acacia blinds. Um, oh, they look good. They look amazing. I love them. Have a look at this. So, of course, they come in all the variants as well, um, except for the stone. I decided not to do the stone ones because I felt like it didn't really fit. Um, we will check out all these in a second here. Let's grab out um, stripped oak, uh, stripped dark oak blinds. So, the noticeable, di dif noticeable difference about the the stripped version is that the, uh, the head rail at the top there isn't a log. It's actually the stripped um, version of it. Hey, that looks pretty good. The acacia ones and those dark oak match this kind of setup perfectly. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, use some oak log walls and do blinds like that, it looks amazing. Oh, hold up, hold up. Give me a second here. Um, let's go ahead and let's grab... Mm, do I want color? I actually don't want color. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's take this real quickly. Let's have a look. Oh! Oh! Yo! That looks good. I'm going for like a, I don't know, it's like, it feels like a, a log cabin or something type feel with this. Um, it is kind of glitching there. I might change that around so you guys can actually do that, but I don't, I don't know. It's kind of something that's going to happen uh, sometimes with a lot of the models in my furniture mod, that Z fighting is going to happen. But, you know, besides that, that looks amazing. Maybe if we just did something like that. Yeah, that kind of, kind of fixes it. That just... That's a view right there. That is a view to behold. But yeah, I love that fact that you can now actually just right click on this and it closes the, all the blinds and uh, it works. It doesn't It doesn't work infinitely. I'm gonna say that right now. It doesn't work infinitely. So there is a limit to it, um, but I'm sure you guys aren't cre gonna be creating super, super massive windows that uh, extend forever. I think you might be able to get away with something like this depending on where you actually click it. So if you actually right click in the middle here, it will work. But if you actually click over here, as you can see, it doesn't do the entire way. And that's just kind of how the programming works. So, I mean, that's a big window. That, that looks, that still looks amazing. I still love the look at that. And this does as well block out light. Um, I should show that off. So let's grab out um, let's grab out something, a light source, right? And we'll have to cover this up. So let's place light sources. All right, here we go. So we have light sources in the back. You can see it's kind of like lit up on the sides here. We'll go ahead and right click it. Boom! Light is now let through and we can right click the blinds to block the light out. So they do work, um, you know, as a system to block out light, outside light from your home at nighttime. But let's now check out all the different blinds here. So we'll place, uh, I guess we could place like two down like that. So we have the oak, spruce, st oh, we had the stripped version, whoops. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's supposed to be the uh, birch one. We have the birch, jungle, acacia. We'll take a closer look at these in a second here. Uh, dark oak, and then we're going on to the stripped variant, so the oak one. As you can see, they're a lot more of a planar design now, and you'll see this in a second here. Um, <laughs> kind of spoiled it a little bit there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab out the remaining three here. So the jungle version, the acacia, and then finally the dark oak. So here are all the blinds. Let's go ahead, let's right click them all so we can close them. And there we have it, the brand new blinds. I love this new update. I think this is going to be a really popular update with you guys because now we have color in the mod. We have we have the brand new sofas. We have the amazing new blinds. And uh, I'm a real big fan of these. So I'm really excited to uh, see what you guys come up with.
Now I'm eager to show you guys what you can do with this brand new furniture, but we're just gonna go ahead, quickly check out the last chest here. Let's go ahead and clear our inventory. And uh, I have basically um, retextured the stripped variants of the furniture. Pre What the? Okay then, let's check this. That am I am I cursed? Am I cursed, guys? Anyways, so previously the stripped furniture kind of looked like the regular oak furniture. So we're gonna go ahead and grab out the uh, oak desk cabinet. Where's that oak desk cabinet? There it is. Uh, we need the oak desk, and we also need the oak bedside cabinet. But now. If you actually take a look at the inventory here, you can actually see a pretty major distinction between the two now. So let's go ahead, let's just place the oak stuff down, and let's go ahead, let's place the stripped oak. And as you can see, they have a completely different look now, and uh, this is exactly what I was visualizing in my head, what the stripped um, furniture would look like. So there we have it, guys. Brand new improvements to the stripped variant and it now actually has its own style and doesn't look like the existing furniture. But anyway, let's move on to um, the inspiration for this video today and you guys are gonna love this. So this first room we are checking out is what I would call a baby's room, I guess. <laughs> you know, if you had a baby, this is the type of room that you would create and it's using the brand new furniture so let's take a look at this and it's using it as well in a very interesting way um, so as you can see we have the sofa here we have a nice pink sofa this is where maybe you know the mum would sit down and uh, feed the kid um, but here we actually have a cot but what we're doing is we are taking advantage of the fact that um, sofas can be used you know as a corner so as you can see here we actually got a sofa which is being wrapped around and it creates this effect that it's more like a it's more like a fence going around rather than it's a sofa and the uh, the stands here make it you know give it more of that cot feel because usually they are lifted off the ground we got some like little things hanging above it um, we got the uh, the bedside cabinet here we've got some little toy horses inside of it um, just thought I'd put that there and then over here or over here we've got the changing table we've got some like spare diapers uh, we've got milk we've got paper or I don't know like baby wipes <laughs> um, we've got a nice little um, rug on the ground here and we've also got the new blinds as well so I'm taking advantage of well I'm the style here is oak theme this looks absolutely amazing and hopefully this give you, gives you guys some inspiration of uh, what you can do um, you know with this new furniture but we're not done there yet let's check out one more now this one is really interesting and it's definitely abusing the uh, mechanics of the furniture mod so let's take a look right now and as you can see we've got this kind of ponds but what you might not notice straight away is these are actually sofas <laughs> We have sofas in the ground, guys. So this is really interesting because um, if you don't know, a lot of the furniture in the mod can be waterlogged. So if we wanted to, we could just place this over here real quickly. And let's grab out a bucket of water. And then we'll go ahead, place it on there. And as you can see, we can actually have a water source on the furniture here. And uh, this is good because we can take advantage of it and... As you can see, we've placed the kind of sofas in the ground here. Again, very similar to the cot we created um, in that baby's room. Um, we can do something like that in the ground there. Put water sources on all of the uh, of the sofas. And then just to make it look a little bit more authentic, we've put some lily pads on here. And it creates a really cool looking man-made like pond. Uh, pond, sorry. Unfortunately, you can't put any fish in these. I did try to put fish in them, but they don't seem to detect it as a water source block. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but for anybody who's interested 
in creating you know a bit of an outdoor setting uh, here's a really good example of uh, what you can do and how you can abuse <laughs> the new mechanics of the, the of the furniture here just to clear it up when I say abuse I mean thinking outside of the box this is definitely not what the sofa was intended for but uh, if you know how it works you can definitely uh, do some really interesting things with you know not just the sofa but anything in my furniture mod but that is gonna end off this update today this is by far my favorite update of the 1.14 version of the furniture mod and it is now available so download link is in the description below and if you guys haven't already I'd appreciate if you could go ahead drop a like on this video subscribe turn on the bell notifications and I will catch you guys for the next furniture mod update coming next week we're doing these weekly baby and I'll catch you guys later bye